Okay, this is going to be a guillotine from our collar tie escape. If you've gone through our 101 course, you will have seen this kind of set up collar tie escape uh, when we're dealing with a, a guard passing situation, right? So if we're like pushes my legs to the side and comes in to pass. So when I'm on this near side, right? Like if we're on the far side, if we're just turning this way, this is not really going to be guillotine territory. But if I'm on this side with my elbow in, or if I'm in the reverse collar tie position in particular, with my elbow up and my forearm frame. Let's just turn a little bit more so people can see. So we're either here or we're here. We're in good base, right? Again, this is not a substitute for proper movement and alignment. If I'm like this and I'm trying to guillotine, I'm fucked, I'm giving you my back. So we need to recognize that if the score is three to three, which it is right now, score has got base, he's got posture, he's got structure, so do I. It's relatively even. Unless I can make his posture compromised, I'm not gonna go for this. Doing this from the straight up, uh, like hand up, elbow down style collar tie is a little bit tricky, I won't pretend. The only time we would do this is if Rory lowers his head and I'm able to cover it with my armpit. However, with the reverse collar tie, because my elbow's protruding, if I elevate my hip, I can break his posture. So I'm elevating my hip and I'm closing my elbow like I'm doing a row. So again, situation one, Elbow down, hand up, he lowers his head, I shoot through and I start driving onto his head to cover posture. Scenario two, elbow up, hand down, I raise my hip and drop my elbow, cover his head. Once I have the chin strap, the operative control here is going to be my hip versus his hip. If he brings his hips close to mine and covers my hip, my guillotine grip doesn't matter. So let's rotate a little bit more. Uh, See how Rory's using his hip? to cover my legs. I don't have any base right now. The fact that I've got him in a guillotine doesn't matter. He'll move to my weak side, his strong side. So once I've gone from either here or here, gotten to the control, I'm basing out as far as I can. My right foot is basing as close as it can, making a frame, and I'm moving my hips out. If I don't gain that, I'm never gonna finish. So don't worry about the choke. Don't worry about connecting your hands. That's completely irrelevant right now. The only thing that matters once we gain the chin strap control here or the deep uh, like V type uh, single arm guillotine style grip, both are fine. You can go chin strap or you can go with, with this because his hand has to stay here. If he releases to hand fight, I immediately am gonna cover a high elbow guillotine. So he's trying to keep my hips here, exactly. So I can afford to go fairly deep. Again, we can grab our shorts or our pants or we can just try to cop that feel. I'm leaning back slightly to cover his head, bringing my foot in, and then scooting my hip away a little bit. My left foot is gonna replace my left hand for base. If I'm, right now, if I just attempt to go in, I still haven't created proper alignment to attack. So let's come back up. When I cover the head, my right foot is blocking, I'm opening this up to check against his hip, come like drive towards me now, difficult. The more I base out at an angle, and again, your hand's gonna have to migrate. Like, you can see that I'm adjusting. I'll ease up, there we go. You can see that I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting because Rory's weight is shifting. If he starts to drive his shoulder forward, see how my elbow's collapsing? That's no good. Let's come back. As he starts to drive forward, I'm gonna turn and post my hand as he adjusts. Like, I'm always adjusting and then checking him. So wherever your hand needs to be, you'll feel it. It'll be in the right spot because your elbow won't be collapsing. If your elbow's collapsing, it means you need to just move your post. So now, before I go, my left foot is gonna replace. As I extend out, now I'm in base. Now, this placeholder system has given me base to remove my arm. Now, if Rory drives into me, all he's driving into is guilty. Or a guilty finish run. So, once again, reverse collar tie. Lift up, cover posture, grip, block, replace, high elbow. Knee comes in, finish as we normally would. This is actually a really reliable attack and it's been used at the high level. You can find footage, highest level. You can find footage of, I believe Jeff Glover hitting this on Hobson Mora at ADCC. Very similar situation. You can actually probably find footage of Jeff Glover hitting this on a few people because it's one of his preferred attacks. He kind of baits it and then we'll switch and finish. Um, we're not Jeff Glover, he can pull it off against people we won't be able to pull, out, pull it off on. So we wanna make sure that we're really putting all of these ingredients into play before we even think 
about kind of sacrificing and jumping on this guillotine. Again, posture break first, hip control second, base replace, and then worry about actually digging for the finish. And you're actually gonna get a really good result from this. If you don't finish, it's okay. This is actually a really good way of just continuing our collar tie defense, where if we end up here, and I just don't think that I can finish, because see how close Rory's shoulders? Wrap this arm a little bit more around, like towards my armpit, a little bit higher up. There we go. Now there's no way I high elbow guillotine him. He's given up hip control, but he's guaranteed that I can't finish on the high elbow guillotine. So in scenarios like this, it's completely fine, as long as I'm keeping my knee in, to just step this foot out and use this to sweep your partner and get on top. It's just a great way to go from defending a guard pass to just being on top. So that don't get so committed to the high elbow guillotine sequence that you neglect to finish. If somebody is not controlling your hip, they're starting to climb up, they're not gonna be able to post really well, just hip out, start blocking, bridging, by again, covering their head, bending it in, you'll be able to flip them over and get on top and then use all the different uh, top attacks. So there's your collar tie on the near side or reverse collar tie into the guillotine.